us to have such a good supply of electricity here uh, that uh, we might be able uh, to attract other people who want to invest on other things we can do ourselves. For Kuma, it means it's going to speed up our day-to-day -day operations. The teachers at the vocational training are going to perform their duties so efficiently simply because they are going to have enough power for, yeah, for different activities. The training that we've done has been developed in a unique way. It's using orality principles. And what orality is, is people who prefer to communicate and learn and retain information orally rather than textually. And so the training is developed to teach them in that way as well. We use a lot of graphics, we tell the story of the system, we use a lot of images, we use drawings because symbols uh, can help them understand a system. For the, those who will be taking care of the system, it's much important for them because this is the big project for us and we think it need not to last at short time. We need to, it need to stay for, for the generations. Reliable and affordable electrical systems that are also safe systems really enable these ministries like Kayuma who are making Jesus known in places where he's otherwise not known. My prayer is that ultimately the electrical system being here with the solar and the diesel and everything, having a reliable electrical system will help them to reach out to more and more people to basically bring them into the light of Christ. <laughs>